Hi, my name is Luke from Glacé Dessert and today we're going to be making our Mother's Day kit. We have two items, we have the strawberry scones and we have the cookies as well. You can make this at home with your mum or you can make it for your mum. Today I have my mum Jenny here and she's going to be making it with us. Hello. Today we're going to start with the strawberry scone mix. So this is what's included in the box. You've got this one, you've got a recipe card. You just need to add milk or almond milk if you want to make it dairy free and 85 grams of butter or again, you can use a margarine if you want to make it dairy free. You need cutters, a rolling pin, some measuring cups if you have. So if you don't have cutters, you could use a glass? You could use a glass or you can use a knife and make them square. It's really however you want to do it. There's no right or wrong way to do it. So we're going to start making the strawberry scone mix. Um, what you've got to do, just empty your scone mix bag of dry ingredients into a mixer. Add the butter in there. And if you're doing this by hand, you can just rub it between your fingers until you get a breadcrumb like consistency. We're going to do it in the mixer. So just with a paddle, start off on a slow speed until the butter breaks up a bit in the freeze dry strawberries. And then we can speed it up a little bit later on. What do you want to look for, Mum, when you're making scones um, at this stage? Pretty much that it looks like breadcrumbs, dry breadcrumbs. So just well mixed through and no big lumps of butter. It's okay to have lumps of fruit. That's what gives it the flavour. What we're going to do is we're going to add our milk. So uh, I'm using almond milk. So if you're using regular milk, I recommend, as the recipe says, around 175 grams or three quarters of a cup. Using almond milk, I find I need to add a little bit more because it just doesn't make it as wet as the regular milk does. Don't pour it all in at once. You can sort of gauge on, on how it is and if you need to add more or not. We'll have a look at the consistency and we'll go from there. So you'll see it's starting to combine together now. So I'll just hold off on the milk a little bit. Just let it come together a little bit. What do you think? A bit more. More milk? Yeah and now it's starting to come together. It shouldn't be overly wet. So just when it starts to come together, we can stop it. You don't want to overmix this one. So now it's ready, we're gonna dust the bench with a little bit of flour. So, cause we're making gluten-free uh, scones here, make sure you use gluten-free flour. If not, just use regular flour, it's fine. Because it's gluten-free, you wouldn't roll it out as much as you would normal scones. Um, so just a gentle roll, just to give it a bit of evenness. I think that's about right. About right. Actually, yeah. There's no really right or wrong, wrong way. If you want it a little bit thicker, you can make it thicker. If you want it thinner, you can roll it out a bit more. Here we've got our cutters. You can use any size you want. I normally use something about, something about that, maybe about five centimeters across. So we'll cut as many as we can out, out of the dough, and then we can just push it back together and get a few more out of it as well. And while you're doing this, um, you can preheat your oven so it's ready to go. I normally go about 180 for the oven. It's gonna take about 15 minutes. So now we're just gonna give them a bit of a brush with some almond milk. But again, you can use regular milk or egg is good for this as well. So before I do that, I just brush a little bit of excess flour off the top of them. And then just with a little bit of almond milk, just to make it a little bit brown when it bakes in the oven. You don't need a whole lot, just to brush the top like that. Egg is fine as well, like I said, or, or any other milk is okay. And then the oven is preset at 180, like I said, so we're just gonna pop them in there and they'll take about 15 minutes. So now they've been in the oven for about 15 minutes, so they're nice and brown on top and they've risen up a little bit. What do you think? Yeah, they look really good. I like to have it with, just with jam and whipped cream with vanilla. So yeah, I like it um, that way too, uh, or maybe just some butter. That's it for the scone mix. Thanks, Mum, for helping us with that. Next, we're gonna do the cookies, which is also in the box. 